Plumbing is an important job and has been around for thousands of years. Plumbing is considered important enough to be an essential service. With so many people going to college to become lawyers and doctors, the world is experiencing a shortage of these critical services like plumbers and electricians. Plumbers keep the fresh water flowing into houses and businesses and ensure that waste disposal systems operate the way they're supposed to. Plumbing, like any industry, works on a system of supply and demand. In short, that's why plumbers have become so expensive. We took a deeper look at why plumbers are so expensive expensive. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. The service they provide. Think about it. When you need a plumber, the problem usually can't wait. Whether it's the toilet, the shower, the sink, or all three, you need these problems fixed as soon as possible, which is why you'll need a professional to get your house back in working order. Due to the factors of their jobs, plumbers have to be ready to come out at any time throughout the day, whether it's early in the morning, late in the afternoon, or on the weekends. Although it may seem a little unfair to charge more for a desperate situation, it's just a simple case of economics, supply and demand. Plumbers are often called out on the weekends as well. Usually people can't be home to meet the plumber during the week, no matter how desperate their problem is. Due to this, they call the plumber to come out on the weekends, and since the weekend is recognized as free time and plumbers get paid more when they're called to work during free time, it means the visit is almost always more expensive. Plumbing requires experience and expertise. Plumbing requires precise technical knowledge. They could cut expenses and therefore costs you by hiring less knowledgeable team members, but that's not a good business model. Rather, they hire only the most skilled technicians, plumbers who will treat your home like their own and do their absolute best work every time. These guys have gone through hundreds of hours of training and licensing exams to be certain they know the safest way to vent your water heater, for instance, without threatening your family's safety. It happens with unlicensed handymen all the time. In the end, you're paying for that expertise and the prevention of injuries, death, and costly refixes. The education plumbers have is extensive. There are so many types of avenues that plumbers are allowed to choose from when it comes to getting an education. For example, they can fast track and learn the basics by attending a trade school, or they can get a formal education and become a journeyman plumber. Trade school. When a plumber goes to trade school, it takes them about two years to get the basics of their education and gather some experience under their belt. They can be hired for certain jobs but this track to education does not render them a specialist when it comes to their career. They are experienced, but sometimes they may have to call a journeyman or master plumber to assist with certain jobs. A journeyman plumber. The journey to becoming a journeyman plumber takes about five years for most programs. In these programs, they are supervised by a master plumber so they can get the knowledge they need as well as their hands-on experience. When they are finished, they can work on pretty much any job, but still cannot do complicated jobs. However, they are able to assist a master plumber. A master Master plumber. To become a master plumber, it takes around 7 to 10 years. This gives them all the information they can ever need as well as the skills to problem solve. So when they have an extremely complex issue, more often than not you'll be hiring a master plumber. These are the specialists in the field who you will pay around $150 to $200 an hour to help you. Plumbers make house calls. One of the reasons that a plumber can cost so much is that they come to you. Then again, they kind of have to, given that your plumbing is in your home. Just getting one of these professionals to come out to your home will cost you. Not only that, but they also have to bring out the proper tools to ensure that no matter what the situation, the job will get done. The convenience of having a professional visit your home and handle the problem without having to run back and forth for parts is what makes a plumber expensive. Insurance is expensive. You don't just want anyone in your home or business without knowing that they can cover the risk of things that could happen on your property or on the way to your property. Most people would be shocked if they realized how much it costs a business to have adequate insurance coverage for the myriad of services plumbers provide. Sure, you could save a buck by using a cheap plumber with less than adequate insurance, but when the crap literally hits the fan, is that a problem you want on your hands? That's why most plumbers are bonded and insured as a point of best practice. The plumber impacts your home's health. When the plumbing is acting up, it can mean many different things. Not only can it mean that your plumbing is getting wet and damaged, but it can also mean negative issues for your health. After all, water leads to mold, a busted water heater leads to carbon monoxide emissions, and so on. When the plumbing in your home is not functioning the way it is meant to, this can lead to more issues than you realize. Your home is as dependent on properly working plumbing as just about any other feature. In the end, you'll have to pay for the best to ensure the health of your dwelling. A plumber can do a lot of different jobs. Those who fancy themselves amateur plumbers may have a skill or two that is valuable. Imagine having all of the necessary 
necessary skills to take on a wide array of jobs. That is why we call a professional plumber. That experience and skill is where much of all the costs come from. Sure, you can get away with using your own skills or those of a friend or family member, but will they have the skills to address any other issues as they come up? Not likely. This is where the experience and skill level of a plumber becomes quite apparent. You pay for the wide-ranging expertise. Because they're needed. No matter how good some do-it-yourself types out there think they are, they aren't certified plumbers. Plumbers have to go through the process of obtaining licensing, certification, insurance, and getting the proper equipment for the job. They put a lot of time in because plumbing services are necessary. When a service is in demand and someone can prove that they are a valuable commodity within that industry, they will remain in demand and often cost a lot. Not only that, things will go wrong. Plumbing is intricate and oftentimes requires professional hands to provide repairs. There are some solutions that can be implemented by do-it-yourself types, but those come at their own risk. It's simple business. At the end of the day, plumbers are expensive because of simple business. They have to make money and the aforementioned certifications and equipment can be quite expensive. They also want to be paid adequately for their time and services rendered. While costs can vary depending on the plumber involved, a truly great plumbers will not compromise on their prices. This is because they know what kind of services they deliver and they know that their time is valuable. For this reason alone, plumbing services are going to cost you a lot if you hope to find a proper professional. Plumbers that are just establishing themselves may offer something of a discount in hopes of attracting a consistent customer base, but that comes with its own set of concerns. If you're already a plumber running your own business or just about to start and grow your own plumbing business, you must learn the four critical things plumbing business owners wish they had learned before starting a plumbing business so you don't make the same mistakes. Plumbing Accelerator has put together a free training video that you can watch for free right now that will show you exactly how to start, grow, and build your plumbing business the right way so you can consistently guarantee profitable work, free up your time, all whilst reducing stress levels and allowing you to have sustainable and more profitable business that works for you. In this free training video, you'll also learn how to generate a steady stream of jobs on demand and with predictability month after month in your local area without relying on word of mouth and referrals. How to stop competing on price with other plumbers and a escape your competition, how to convert at least 90% of your quotes and estimates into sales, and how to command premium prices and attract high quality customers that will be happy to pay more. Click on the link in the description below the video. Imagine just getting anybody to work on your body instead of a qualified doctor. That's about the same thing for plumbing. You do not want any idiot working on your house's plumbing. What do you think? Feel free to leave a comment. Until next time, thank you for watching the video, we hope you enjoyed it, and remember to stay safe.